Vlogmas. Today I wanted to talk about the kinds of dailies I've been using lately. Um, in my current setup, I have my weeklies and my dailies in separate sections. So like my weekly is in here and then the next tab over I've got my dailies. And I'm only using dailies when I need to. Um, basically trying to I don't know, simplify things and I'm working off of my next action items list a lot, um, which I showed in a video recently. Um, and so I've been using these freebie dailies from Peanuts Planner Co. These are available on her Facebook page. Um, if you go to the album with the freebies, it's this is the one that um, this column here is the width of Erin Condren stickers. I don't have any Erin Condren stickers, but that's what this is. Um, there's a timed version, but I prefer to time it myself because the timed version she has has like shorter hours in the morning and the evening and I want it all to be even. So I usually do um, put the times here from either 6 to 7, 6 to 7.30 or from 6.30 to 8 o'clock, is that right? Um, depending on the day. <laughs> on these days that Agnes goes to the babysitter, um, I have to wake up a little bit earlier and get her ready because she goes with her dad. He drives her there. Um, and then I have to pick her up in the evening. So I get her ready at six and then I take a shower when she goes. So that's just to remind me to do that. But basically I've been putting like a schedule on the left column and then to do's on the right column. Um, so on this day, I only marked off like the hours I was working. Some days, like when I'm with her, I often will mark off when she's taking a nap. Um, this is a particular weekend that I was only using the friction pen. I wasn't using any color coding or anything. This one's super simple and it's really just a list of to-dos and the word snacks. I think I was bringing snacks with me to work to snack on. Anyway, um, <laughs> here I sort of listed some things, you know, that we were doing as I was doing them. Um, same here, only one thing really on the, to on the schedule and then just to-dos. Um, here also, yeah, she was at the babysitter this day. So I was kind of checking things off as I did them. Um, and then I tried out a little bit of lettering. I'm not really good at lettering lately. I don't know. But there were things that I was um, basically, I was spending my morning, this is my day off. I was spending most of the day in the living room watching Marvelous Mrs. Maisel season two, playing with the baby and cleaning the front half of the house. <laughs> that was like, what I did, I set up like a blanket fort in the living room and we just sort of hung out in there. Um, and then that was the evening that I went to the Christmas concert. Um, this day I decided to bring in some color. So this was this last Tuesday. Um, I went with the yellow um, Zebra Mild Liner so that it matched these emoji uh, stickers to, or the washi tape that I've got. And I just sort of, well, I was working on editing some videos that evening, so I tried a little bit of lettering. If I'm doing like one thing for a chunk of time, sometimes I'll try out some lettering um, on the, the left column. Here this day I was having fun with the little hamster washi tape that I got. So I kind of picked this color to mark off her naps to sort of kind of go along with that. Um, and yeah, I was, I put an arrow when like, I needed to go to the social security office. It opens at nine. So I put it at nine, but then the baby was taking a nap. So I put, I moved an arrow to show that we actually went to 10 because that was when she had woken up. And then I just put this holy hour whenever, but I moved it to two when we were done with the nap. Then we could get there. Um, and then yeah, just to do's, uh, on this day I actually tried moving the like the dot for the task uh signifier no bullet over into the right column or the rightmost column of the left side just so that it has an actual square to go in so that's working and then yeah basically any day that I feel like I need um like a, a one place to look at something so that I don't have to flip back and forth um, I'll put it on a daily. So like, for example, I made a daily for this weekend and I've got all the things I want to do. Actually, I switched it up on um, this weekend. I have 
this column split up into the, the four things that we have scheduled. We're having a friend over for dinner, so we have to clean the house. Um, so yeah, I'm filming this on Saturday. We have a party tonight and then we're gonna leave the baby at home with my mother-in-law and go Christmas shopping. And then these are all of the to-do list items that we're doing. Let me see. I'm trying, instead of using a, a box or a dot, I'm just using a little patch of color to bring the col color theme in together. Um, I don't think there's gonna be room for any washi tape or stickers on this one besides this label sticker for the date. So that's sort of what I've been doing. Um, the, the nice thing about them being separate, one of the nice things, is that I don't feel a lot of pressure to make them pretty. You know, I kind of, I like to decorate my weeklies, but earlier when I was doing like the dailies in between, I kind of feel like they have to, you know, look kind of nice because I almost kind of want to save the weeklies as sort of a record of what I did that week or, you know, what happened that week, you know, milestones and things like that. Um, it's sort of an overview of the week, but I don't really want to keep the dailies too much because they're really just practical and like a list of everything I want to do. Um, and then I'm not doing them every single day because on days that I don't feel like I need to write everything down in one place, um, I will work off this list here on the weekly and also this list here in the front of next action items. Um, and that's where I am. That's what I've been doing for the last month or so, and it's been working okay. Um, and yeah, I, I kind of like the one page per day. It's nice to just have one place to look at everything. So I hope that that was give you some ideas useful at all. And uh, if not, uh, maybe tomorrow's video will be better. And I will see you then for the next Vlogmas. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I know I keep saying that, but you don't want to miss it, right? Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.